Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel, Beauty in a Minute. If you are new here, welcome and thank you for joining me today. Um, if you haven't done so, consider subscribing to my channel. I post a video every Monday and Thursday and most of my skincare videos are only five minutes long. And if you like my video today, please kindly give me the thumbs up. I would so appreciate that. So without further ado, let's get started. Today I want to talk about my second product by um, this French brand called Dermaceutic Laboratory. So Dermaceutic Laboratory is a French brand and all the products are made in France. And this is an excellent brand. Uh, I've only ever purchased two products from them. And the reason is because um, they only have one official stockist in Australia. I can't purchase as a consumer. I can't purchase directly uh, from them. They do not have a website. So you can't do an online purchase from them. And you have to buy your products from either a pharmacy or um, a statistician's clinic, which added the cost again. So, so by the time I buy the product and pay for my postage costs, I'm looking at nearly $200 per item. Hence, I haven't purchased a lot of products from this brand. Um, I have to leave it for a very special occasion. But anyway, today I want to talk about um, this second product I purchased from them. And this is Dermaceutic Laboratory Dermalift 5.0. This is a lifting product. It's a product that is supposed to lift your sagging skin, your wrinkles, fine lines, and skin that is slightly droopy. For example, for those of us who are middle aged, mature ladies or men with mature skin, our skin can start to droop, start to sag, both on our neck, on our face, and also all over our body. So this, this particular serum is for lifting. And I'm just going to read the ingredients to you. So this product here, it has 5% peptide complex, a whole lot of peptides to lift the skin to encourage skin elasticity and firmness it has got the uh, tensing complex so i'm not really sure what is in the tensing complex it's got four percent tensing complex and that's supposed to give a lifting uh, effect on your skin it has 0 0.5 percent bakucho bakucho is what they call a natural alternative to retinol they find that bakucho is less irritating, doesn't have all the uh, agitating and irritating side effects of retinol, but it does all the things that retinol does. So it's a, it's a retinol alternative. And it has 1% ceramides, pentanol, elantoin, mineral cocktail. This is what it looks like um, Yeah, inside the box. And it comes in an airless palm like this. I can't pump any for you because I've used it all up and I haven't yet bought my second um, of this product mainly because of the cost. So yeah, mainly because I haven't yet placed another order from my skin pharmacy in Australia. But otherwise, this is an excellent product. I do see a certain firmness. Um, elasticity in my skin. My skin is just less droopy. Um, yeah, this is an excellent product if you, don't, if you don't mind the price point. I mean, I I love everything that this brand does, uh, Dermaceutic Laboratory. I've done a video on your vitamin C. Um, I've done a video on that, which I will list down below. So any products by this brand is absolutely brilliant. It's just that they are not cheap. So you can purchase this from my skin pharmacy uh, in Australia. So I have to buy everything from Australia, pay in Australian dollars and pay the postage from my skin pharmacy. So there you are. <laughs> this is my second product by this brand. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll use anything from this brand and everything that is by this brand is absolutely brilliant. But if this is the price that you're used to spending and you don't mind you know, investing in any product that helps to prevent wrinkles and fine lines and saggy skin. This one is specifically for saggy skin, wrinkles and fine lines. 
so really have enjoyed using it and i would highly recommend it except for the price point thank you so much for joining me today um, if you like my video today please give me the thumbs up otherwise i'll catch you guys next time bye